Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Terrific Tuesday. What a joy and a privilege and an honor it is once again to be able to come into your hearts and come into your homes on this blessed Tuesday morning. I pray that you guys rested well last night, and I pray that uh, something is said and something that is experienced that will bless you guys immensely. Amen. Good morning, my St. Paul family. Good morning, Buki. Good morning, Justin, Ladora, uh, Minister Betty, Viola Fountain, Glenda Carr, Sharonda Giles, and everybody that is connected with us on this blessed, uh, terrific Tuesday. Amen. I'm just grateful, just honored, um, and just downright tickle pink um, to be alive on this blessed day. Amen. As we get ready to dive into the word of the Lord, and as we get ready to get some worship on, um, I'm praying sincerely that God will continue to take you guys higher, um, that you will experience him more deeper, that you will feel, um, that you know without a doubt that you're getting closer to him. Amen. Our God, our Savior, our friend. Amen. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Amen. Go ahead and share if you haven't done so. I'll do it as well. Go ahead and share it on your page if you desire to do so. Amen. Amen. All right, guys, let us go ahead and get it kicked off this morning. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all that is evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. God, you've taught us a model prayer. You've given us, Lord God, a model in which to pray. And we're here this morning, Lord God, unapologetically, just thanking you, Lord, for our health and our strength. Thank you for giving us our agility and our mobility to be able to get up and move around, Lord God, and have the wherewithal to connect with you this morning. And we appreciate you, Lord God, for giving us everything that we have. We recognize, Lord God, that we do desire some, um, some pretty tall things in our lives, Lord God. You told us that you will give us our desires if we delight ourselves in you. So, God, we're here this morning, Lord God, on an assignment, Lord Jesus, to dive deeper into your word. I'm asking you, Holy Spirit, just illuminate um, your word before us, Lord God. Unravel, Lord God, the mysteries of your word, Lord God. I thank you so much uh, for everybody that is connected with us this morning. I pray a sincere blessing over their lives. I pray a blessing over their day. I pray a blessing over their families, over their finances, Lord God, even over their enemies. You told us to pray for those, Lord God, that despitefully misuse us. And so, God, you told us to do that. And we are praying, Lord God, mightily, Lord Jesus, knowing that all things still work together for the good of them that love the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. And those that are called according to your divine purpose. So, God, I'm asking right now that fetters will be broken, chains will fall off, Lord God, that hearts will be mended, minds will be regulated, Lord Jesus, that we'll begin to understand the grandeur of who you are. God, you are excellent. You are amazing. You are everything that we need you to be, Lord Jesus, in our lives. So, God, we thank you right now uh, for this fresh oil this morning. And I ask right now that that oil will just flow in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, God, Holy Spirit, flow, oh, God, on this blessed Terrific Tuesday morning. We so love you, we so honor you, and we bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, all right, let's worship, let's worship. Amen. You all know I love this song. I can sing this song every day. More than anything. More than anything. Come on, worship with me, everybody. Good morning, Sister Birdie. Melanie, Annie Redman, Vicky. I lift my hands in total adoration unto you. You reign on the throne, for you are God and God alone. Because of you, my cloudy days are gone. And I can sing to you the song And I just want to say that I love you more than anything Anybody love him with me this morning? Come on I lift my hands in total adoration unto you You reign on the throne for you are God and God alone. Because of you, my cloudy days are gone. And I can sing to you this song. I just want to say that I 
love you more than anything. Oh, come on, bless the Lord with me this morning. Love me in your arms. You were my shelter from the storm. When all my friends were gone, you were right there all along. I never known a love like this before. Oh, I just want to say that I love you more than anything. Oh, 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 I love Jesus. Come on, come on, where you at? I worship and adore you, God. Just want to tell you, Jesus. Lord, I love you more than anything. Hallelujah. Does anybody really love the Lord this morning? I love you, Jesus. Hey, yes, I worship and adore you, God. Just want to tell you, Jesus. Lord, I love you more than Anybody know God has been good to you? Open up your mouth and say, I love you, Jesus. Yes, I worship and adore you. Just want to tell you, God, Lord, I love you more than anything. Give God some praise right there. I love you, Jesus. Elohim, Jehovah Jireh. I worship and adore you. Just want to tell you, God. Lord, I love you more than anything. Come on, give God the praise. I love you, Jesus. You've been so good to me. Lord Jesus, Lord, I love you. Yeah, yeah. More than anything, God. Hallelujah. Somebody give God a praise of hallelujah. The highest praise that we can give our God. For waking us up early this morning, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love you, Jesus, more than anything. Hey, ha! Shout my light to Morgan, God, yes. I love you, Jesus, Woo. because you first loved me. Hey, I love you, Jesus. More than anything. Oh, 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 oh. Woo. I love him this morning. Does anybody really love the Lord this morning? Hey, man, somebody shout amen. That's how we wake up on a terrific Tuesday because God has been so good to us. Hey, man, we're here to magnify him. Hey, man, that is the, that is the quintessential thing um, that God has created us for. It is for worship. Amen. Amen. We are, we are here to lavish our love upon our God. Amen. That's how you praise and worship your God this morning. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. 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 Let's get into this word now, my friends. Let's get into this word. Yeah, when the war music is on. <laughs> amen. Amen. All right, guys. But this is, if this is your first time connected with us, my name, of course, is Pastor Thurman Cunningham, Jr. I'm the senior pastor of the St. Paul Missionary Baptist Church of Comita, Mississippi. We're so delighted that you would take out time to join us on this blessed, terrific Tuesday morning. Amen. Amen. All right, guys, let's get into this word. All right. We have graduated, guys, to, to, uh, to the 20th Psalm. We are now firmly in the 20th Psalm. We're moving along, guys. And I'm just so grateful that you all have taken this opportunity and this journey to ride along with us. Amen. But it reads firmly. It reads firmly like this. In times of trouble, 
My God is so good already. May the Lord answer your cry. May the name of the God of Jacob keep you safe from all harm. Verse two, may he send you help from his sanctuary and strengthen you from Jerusalem. Verse three, may he remember all your gifts and look favorably on your burnt offerings. Interlude, of course, that this is a song. Verse four, may he grant you, may he grant your heart's desire, there it is, and make all your plans succeed. Oh, this is so good. And the last one I'm going to do today. May we shout for joy when we hear of your victory and raise a victory banner in the name of our God. May the Lord answer all of your prayers. Amen. So just for a brief moment of your time, I want to talk about my help is on the way. My help is on the way. Amen, amen, amen. Come on, let's give God some praise right there that you know your help is on the way. Your help is on the way. My help is on the way. I thank the Lord for his word this morning. I really, really thank the uh, Lord for his word this morning. Look, let's go ahead and just jump right into it. Let's go back to verse number one. All right. In times of trouble, may the Lord answer your cry. And of course, I want to ask this very pointed question early this morning. Is anybody... Needing the help from the Lord. Does anybody really need any help from the Lord this morning? Is anybody in trouble this morning? Does anybody have a downcast spirit? You've got some pretty strong situations that are going on in your life. I don't know your existential plight this morning. Uh, Brother Roosevelt and, and cousin Shirley and Era. Uh, Jalisa, cousin, I, I don't know. I don't know what is going on in your life. Uh, but the Holy Spirit has a way of finding us, Right. Uh, there's a reason, there's a premise of why, uh, of, of why you got up this morning. Amen. Some, some may be connected out of curiosity, but then I believe that there's at least one of you guys out of the 91. Maybe this one, maybe Donna Faye, this is for you as I see your name. Maybe you've got some things going on in your life. Can I, can I minister to you, Donna? Hey, man, let me minister to you, Donna. Maybe you've got some stuff going on in your life and you're needing God to break that chain. I don't know. I'm not, you know, I don't, I don't know. I don't know everything that is going on in your life, but you're needing God to show up in a real way. You're needing God to open up some doors for you. You've been dealing with this thing for a long time, and I don't know what this thing is. Amen. This woman uh, that had an issue of blood, she had that thing dealing with it for 12 long years, and she just got fed up and tired. She heard that there was a man that was coming through her town. My God. And he had, he had uh, the heal. He had the healing in, in the hem of his garment. Yeah, so I want to tell somebody this morning that is going through the fight of your life and you are in trouble. Maybe maybe perhaps you're not in trouble. Maybe perhaps your child is in trouble. Maybe it's your mother. Maybe it's your son. Maybe it's your husband. I don't know who it is, but this word is just for you this morning. Amen. Can I tell you? This, this word is just for you this morning. That help is on the way. My God, my help is on the way. Amen. He is on the way, guys. Look, the Holy Spirit has a way of connecting us. The Holy Spirit has a way of showing us and letting us know that I promise you, I, I promise that I will be with you. And that promise is a sure promise. He will be with us in times of trouble. He will, be, he will be with us. And not only, he says, in times of trouble, he says, watch this, may the Lord answer your cry. See, they, David, here it is. David is, again, penning these wonderful lyrics. And we don't know the, the, the time frame of which he wrote Psalms 19 uh, up to Psalms 20. But here, as I did some background, uh, David is again getting ready to go into a battle. My God, didn't he just not get out of a battle? We, didn't he not just was able to just kick up his feet and be on his terrace or his patio? And now he is getting ready to prepare himself for war all over again. Look, I want to tell you, as best as you live, as good as your health is, there is still, amen, there are some some things that will try to creep upon us. Can I get one good witness right there? Amen. In this life, we will have some trials. We will have some tests. We will be tripped out. But in times of trouble, David is saying, like God answer my prayer, may the Lord answer your cry. Oh my God. May he, may he answer your cry. Amen. And look, then he said, may the name of the God of Jacob keep you safe from all harm. May he keep you safe. Amen. And I know that there are so many people that are 
um, so many people that are um, truly concerned, and I am too, uh, about this COVID-19 and how it's not, it's seemingly, seemingly like, like it's not letting up and, and everybody want to get back to a sense of normalcy, right? Everybody want to get, get back to uh, where they used to be. Everybody want to get back um, to, 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 to fellowshipping and embracing one another. But I believe that God has a strategic method by um, in which he is doing things. He is saying, watch this. Let me give you some, let me give you some context. Holy Spirit, just drop this down in my spirit, right? Right. So when the children of Israel uh, were being in bondage, when they were in bondage for 400 years under the, under the tyranny of Pharaoh and the Egyptians, right? And God, since, of course, sent Moses, um, sent Moses to, uh, to liberate the people, right? Pharaoh did not want to change his heart. So God actually made his heart even harder, right? Ooh, that's another, that's another subject, right? He made his heart even harder. So as a consequence, of course, you all know the story that God sent these plagues, right? The plagues of the of the gnats, the flies, the frogs and all these other things, the gods that they were serving. God attacked them. <clears throat> excuse me. God attacked them with the gods, idol gods that they served. But watch this. While they were being attacked down in Goshen. Oh, can I preach to you down in Goshen? God was preserving the children of Israel. Not a not not a gnat, a fly or frog or anything attack the children of Israel. Watch this. While God is allowing COVID-19 to take place in our lives, I believe, I believe that God, that God will keep us safe. May the name of the God of David keep you safe from all harm. Amen. And I know that there are some going to be some casualties of war. I know that there are some of our family members and our friends by default um, because of this, um, because we are all underneath the umbrella. The, the, the sun rains on the good and the and the bad. Amen. And we all have to go through some things. But I'm praying this morning, just like David is praying. He said, may God answer your prayer. May he keep you safe from all harm. Amen. And I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. And I know that there are so many that were not able to, to have this testimony. Um, but on my job, of course, with being so many people on the job, um, I actually uh, tested uh, uh, for COVID-19 four times and all four times it came back negative. And I give God praise for that. And I don't think that I'm much better than anybody else. I know I'm not to be exact, but I just I just I just firmly believe in my heart. I just firmly believe in my heart that God is going to keep me safe. I believe that God is going to keep my family safe. That's my personal belief, right? So, so David is saying, may God keep you safe from all harm. And you just need to continue to stay underneath God's wing, right? Let's go, let's go on. I hope this has helped somebody. Look at this. He said, verse two, may he send you help <laughs> from his sanctuary and strengthen you from Jerusalem. Yeah. So where God is, may he send you help. Does anybody need that help this morning? Does anybody need God to undergird you? Does anybody need God to lift you up? Does anybody need God to lift you up from that place of complacency, that place of doubt, that, that place of worry, that place of, you know what? I will never be able to get out of this. I will always be where I am. Look, we need to stop speaking those words. Look, the Bible says that life and death is in the power of your tongue. We need to begin to speak affirmation, words of affirmation. God, I am your child. God, I'm a king's kid. God, I'm a citizen of the kingdom. God, I'm above. God, I'm a lender, not the borrower. God, I can do all things through you, God, who gives me strength. God, send me help from your sanctuary. And God, not only send me help, David saying, but I need some strength this morning. I am fatigued along the journey. I've gotten weak along the journey. I need some help. That's what David is saying this morning, because war, impending war is upon me and my nation. Impending war is upon me and my family. Impending war is right around the corner. God, I'm praying right now. This is a prayer this brother prayed. He said, God, I'm asking that you send help from your sanctuary. And I love that about David. I love that about this brother is that he didn't, even though he was the king and even though he was a conqueror, even though he, um, the women cried out, hey, David killed tens of thousands and Saul only killed a thousand. Even though God was with him, he still had the wherewithal to still pray to God and say, God, here I bow before you. I know I'm one of the most powerful people in the world. I know I have one of the most prestigious positions in the world. Come here, come here, President Trump. You need to hear this message this morning. It does not matter what position you hold. It does not matter what title you have. It, we ought to still be be able to bow down before a holy God and ask for some help. My God, look, I'm telling you this morning, that's how this brother was able to be successful. And that is how we will be successful this morning. We get down on our knees and begin to cry out to Abba, Father. Amen. Send some help. Send some help from your sanctuary, oh God. Amen. Look, verse three, 
May he remember all your gifts and look favorably on your burnt offerings. Yeah. So he, in other words, David is saying, uh, may he remember everything that I, that I've done for you, God, how, how I was obedient, how I um, went to you first. The word of God says in uh, Matthew six thirty three to seek ye first the kingdom of God. Come on, help me. And all of his righteousness and all these other things will be added unto you. And yet may he remember all of your gifts, um, your sacrifices, how you were obedient when, when everybody else was going left, you, God told you to go right. You went to your spot of obedience. Look, and he, and I've learned something that when you do what God tells you to do, God will look favorably upon your burnt offerings. He will look favorably upon your life. And our lives ought to be a burnt offering. Our lives ought to, ought to be, we ought to pour our lives upon the Lord. We ought, the Bible says it like this, that we ought to be what? A living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is our reasonable service. May God look favorably upon our lives. And I know that we are not always there. I know that we have not yet arrived in our lives. I know that we still have some beings. I know that we still have some proclivities in our lives. But my prayer is that may God look favorably on our lives. And that when we do error, that when we do make a mistake, a mistake, when, when we do say the wrong thing, we ought to be quick to say, you know, what? oh, God, please forgive me for that. Please forgive me for that. Right. Because the Bible clearly says in Romans 3, 23, for we all have sinned, guys. All of us have sinned and come short and missed the mark. May he remember all of your gifts and look favorably on your burnt offerings. In my prayer today that we would lay down our lives on God's altar. Come on, Holy Spirit. May we lay down our hearts on the altar of God. May he work it out. Somebody shout, God, work it out for me. All right, guys, look at this. May he grant your heart's desire and make all of your plans succeed. Oh, my God. I want to pause here for a moment and double click on it. Watch this. May he grant your heart's desire. Minnie Stewart, do you have any desires this morning? Annie Redman, and Georgia Grayson, and Teresa. Amen. D does anybody have any grand aspirations, any desires to, to maybe start that business or to keep that business operating, to keep that business going? Or do you have any aspirations for your children? Do you want to go back to school and work on your, uh, get your, uh, your bachelor's or your master's or your doctorate degree? Do you want to, uh, do you want to um, go ahead and uh, step out into that water like Peter did and walk on that thing? Right. God is saying, David is saying, may he grant your heart's desire. And the word of the Lord said that he will grant you your heart's desire, right? If we do what he has called us to do. And I know that there's some time that we are afraid, right? Because we, we, we believe that, uh, that our nest egg, come on, hallelujah, that our nest egg is going gonna, is gonna to eventually um, deplete. No, but if you trust in the Lord, come here. If you trust in the Lord, God will give you the desires of your heart. Yeah, if you delight yourself, in other words, delight meaning that you, you wake up every morning with God on your mind. You wake, you walk through the day with God on your mind. You're trying your best to, to, to be the best wife that you can be. You're, you're trying your best to be the best husband. You're trying your best to be the best pastor and the best first lady. You're trying your best to be the best mother. You're, you're, you're trying your best. David is saying, may he grant you your heart's desire. And this, his desire is for uh, as impending war is upon him, he is praying that God give me victory over my enemies. These Amorites, uh, these Amicalites, um, all of these other Jebusites, all of these people are coming up against me. Why? Because of the anointing on my life, because the anointing that is flowing through the kingdom, because I am a man of prayer. Right. People don't like the fact that God has his hand on your life, Sister Sheila. And Melody and Brother Roosevelt and Lois. God, watch this. People are envious by default and they don't like the fact that they're seeing you move up and they're still complacent. All they got to do is just get in alignment with God's will and God will open up a door for them too. right. People, people are fickle. People will fall. People will fail you. People will walk out of your life. But watch this. David is saying, may he grant you your heart's desire and make watch this. All your plans succeed. Right. What I encourage everybody to do right in the book of Habakkuk, uh, the, Habakkuk says, write the vision. God told him to write the vision. Oh, my God. How many times have you written down your vision? How many how many of you guys have an aspiration, have a dream right here in your head and you got it in your heart, but you didn't put it down on paper yet? I'm telling you something. I'm telling you something. I told you guys this and I get out of your way is this time last year. I wrote down a vision for I wrote down a vision for my health. Right. Um, I wrote down the vision, say, you know what? By so and so date. Right. Uh, I want to be a certain weight by so and so date. I want to be able to accomplish this. Right. And be honest with you, my goals and I'm about to give you some some secular teaching here. Right. My, my goals were not smart. 
What do you mean my goal was not smart? Right. The acronym for smart. My goal was not uh, specific. Right. It was not measurable enough. Right. Um, it was it was not achievable in that time frame. Right. It was not realistic. Right. And my goal had to be time sensitive. You got to have some smart goals. Y'all go check it out. Yeah. Smart goals. You just get give you gave you another nugget. Right. It, watch this. My goal was not realistic. I was trying to lose 25 pounds in, in two months. <laughs> that was unrealistic. And guess what? I got discouraged along the way because my goals were not smart. Oh, hallelujah. Watch this. If you want your plan to be successful, you've got to have smart goals. These goals that you have, look, sometimes these goals, that, that your plans take a little bit longer than three months. Sometimes your goal takes two years. That's okay. As long as you keep your plan before you, write your vision and make it plain, right? So that you'll be able to run. Don't make your goal unrealistic, right? Make your goal say, you know what? God, I'm putting this in your hands. And allow God to orchestrate that thing. Just like that woman that came and spoke in my spirit on Sunday morning when I, when I went jogging. It was exactly what I needed at the time. Allow God time. Right? One day is as a thousand years unto the Lord. Amen. Give him time to work. Right? May he grant your heart's desire and make all your plans succeed. Oh, my God. All right. Let me give you my last one. And I get on out of your way for today. All right. May we shout for joy. When we hear of your victory and raise a banner in the name of our God, may the Lord answer all of your prayers. Look, watch this. Um, th those four verses that we just read. Now, David is saying, you know what? God, I believe you're going to answer my prayer. God, I believe you're going to allow my plans to succeed. I believe you're going to open up these doors. I believe that you're going to cover and protect. I believe God. Now I'm going to shout. <laughs> I'm going to shout for victory. I'm going to shout for victory because I believe that you've already worked it out. I'm going, to, I'm going to shout for victory because I believe that you've already opened up the door. I'm going to shout for victory because I know without a doubt you've already given me the answer. I'm going to shout for joy when I hear of your victory. I'm going to shout. And watch this. I'm celebrating you right now, Elizabeth. I'm celebrating you right now, um, Georgia Grayson and Alice and Stephanie. I am celebrating you guys right now because somebody is going to come back with a testimony of God. I heard something this morning. My God, I heard something this morning and I believe my God, I believe with all of my heart. I believe that my help is on the way. Come on, somebody need to shout. My, my help is on the way. I praise God. I'm not going to wait. I'm not going to wait until the battle is over. I'm going to shout right now. I'm not going to wait till things get better. I'm going to shout right now. I'm not going to wait till I begin to be able to see it. I'm going to shout right now because the Bible says that now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. I'm going to believe God right now. And somebody need to shout, I've got a right now praise. I've got victory in Jesus. Jesus name. Amen. God will keep me safe. My family will be kept safe from harm. God will deliver. God will give me my joy back. God will give me my hope back. God will allow my aspirations to come to pass. I need somebody to shout right now that he's working it out and that he's turning around and that your help is on the way. I would encourage you with that for somebody um, that feels like God is far removed from where you are. He's far removed from your plight. He is not I promise you, your help is on the way. Oh, hallelujah. I pray that this devotion helped you this morning. I don't know about you, but it certainly helped me. David is a brother, man. We need to just continue to just look. Look unto as it relates to his life. He's real, he's relevant, and he's relational. And he keeps it transparent. He keeps it 100, amen, in our lives. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you so much for this wonderful opportunity again in this time of worship, this time of diving into your word. I'm praying right now that we would receive it with gladness. I am praying right now, Lord God, that we would take these five verses into our day. Oh God, that we would marinate on these verses again, that we'll meditate on these verses once again, and that, Lord God, we will recall it, Lord God, when we get frustrated in our day. I'm believing by faith, Lord God, that you're going to keep us firm, that you're going to keep us safe, that you're going to allow us to continue to climb that mountain, that you're going to allow us to continue to go higher in you, Lord God. We believe in you, Lord Jesus. We have faith in you, Lord God, and I believe that you're going to turn things around because our help, you are our help, and you're on the way. We love you now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I pray that this devotion, devotion helped you real, real good. And may your day be blessed. And if it be the Lord's will, we'll connect again and tie our time in the a.m. Have a wonderful, blessed day in Jesus.